Y'all peep the new intro. Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Chef Nige, but everyone calls me Nige, so you already know you can call me Nige. Today, I thought it would be a cool idea if we got to try some of Target's house wine. So let's see. Target has come out with their own wine. Actually, it came out in 2017. It's known as California Roots, and I'm all about learning about a brand when I'm trying a new kind of wine. So I did go to their website to see what they were all about, what the brand stands for, what kind of ingredients they use, what kind of variety am I looking for. I really like to know all about that before I try a wine. So I went to their website and they had some information about this brand called California Roots and from the website it says the best ingredients for a good life are simple good food good friends and good wine honestly I don't disagree <laughs> um, they do say that it is vined and grown in California which is fine but I kind of wish they would give us um, you know where in California I would love to know what county, where are we going, northern, southern, is really would help me kind of understand what kind of style of wine we'd be going for. But just to say the whole state of California doesn't really give me much. They do have a few styles of wine, which I think is really cool. They have things that range from a white, um, they have some reds, a rosé, they even have a sangria, which you really don't find incredibly often as a, a collection. So I'm very interested in this so i'm going to head over to target and pick up some of these wines i live in the central florida area so i went to my local target and apparently these are really really popular um i maybe think because it's a, the price point the price point is five dollars nothing was on the shelf so when i pick out wines i love to see what is being bought the most just because i can relate and see like oh you actually will go out and buy this kind if i review it so from the ones that I did see that were left, and barely that, I did pick up the Sangria, which I'm pretty excited for. I also picked up the Red Blend, which I'm very excited for. I love Red Blends. I love when two, three, four different styles of grapes can be in incorporated into one wine. I absolutely love that. I wanted to try one of the whites, but apparently I guess those are really popular because none were on the shelf so starting off with the sangria i do have it chilled because sangria is best served chilled um i'm looking at the bottle trying to see if i can get some more information about how this is going to taste or if i'm gonna you know get something from it you see an orange which um it, you know is pretty common sangria is essentially made with red wine sweeteners and fruit um and oranges being one so that's cute i do uh see that there's an 11 percent abv so this is probably not going to be sickening sweet but i actually this color is really giving that um that hazaratus red i tried a few videos ago so um uh, i don't know because sangria does have a, a tendency to be a hint of sweetness because of the fruit flavors vined and bottle in napa valley napa valley does have a reputation of being one of the best wine growing areas in the world it has some of the world's best wines that come out of Napa Valley. So I'm gonna hold a little bit of a high standard. I'm definitely ready to try this now. So I'm just gonna open her up. It's like this scarlet red color, like something that people in like a Victorian age put right in ink. <laughs> um, actually, it's, it's a really beautiful color. Let's see on the, on the nose. Okay, that's a lot of berries. Wow, that's really zesty. So like I said, sangria is made up of, you know, fruit and sweeteners and red wine and lots of berries like raspberry strawberry i'm getting the oranges i'm sensing a little lemon possibly some lime but really it's that lemon and orange so let's give it a taste whoa whoa that first drop in my mouth came off a lot sweeter than i anticipated um i'm tasting the oranges definitely i have now it makes sense why there's an orange on the front it's really orange forward actually really really sweet it's sweeter than i anticipated it's sweeter than i thought it would be um the lemon does give it a nice zest it does give it a nice acidity but for five dollars it doesn't have this artificialness 
to it. It really does taste like as if you put red wine together, oranges, some lemons, and put it in the fridge for a few hours. This does feel very homemade. I can see why that would be popular amongst people. It does have a hint of sweetness that really um, embodies the sangria characteristics, but also I like that there's this zesty, lemony, orange type of flavor that also incorporates with it so it really balances it out it's not too complex it's not super complicated which i think is really nice i'm not incredibly too mad at it it does what it said it was going to do it does have a really nice you know combination of flavors that doesn't feel super complicated or complex i do think people would actually enjoy this i think that it's okay um, I think that for $5, I'm not mad at it. All wine does not have to be super expensive. You do not have to spend an arm and a leg. If you said 35 years ago, you know, a bottle of wine for $5, I would have looked at you funny. But now they have such great vineyards. They are up to speed with how wine is being produced. They're really up to speed about what people like, you know? So I don't think this is too bad. Um, I could see people buying this for, you know, summer days. See this as being one of your table wines or one of your party wines or something like that. So I'm not too mad at this. For our next one, we're going to be doing the California Roots Red Blend. This one is also grown and vined and bottled in Napa. Red blends are exactly what it says it is. It normally takes a few different type of grapes uh, and varietals and puts them in one collective bottle. I love red blends. They're kind of one of my favorites. Red blends are really, are really my girl because I feel like you're getting the best of, you know, two and three worlds. So, okay. So a lot darker than the sangria, which is what I expected. It's actually the color of kind of like a, a black cherry. It's kind of transparent. Um, it does give this really black cherry type of color. I'm gonna go in for a whiff. The weirdest thing, I'm getting maple syrup and coffee. And, okay, it's a red blend. So it is a combination of a different, of different varietals, but on the bottle, it does not say whether or not what grape varietals are in here. It smells like Gerber baby food. I don't know whether to be scared or excited. I'm nervous, okay. Let's give it a try. That was pretty sharp. I'm definitely getting like a Ziffindel type of um, flavor profile with this like nice hint of coffee. On the dry down, this maple syrup just is staying on the front of the palate. Towards the back, I'm definitely getting like, like dark cherry, um, some a little oak. So it's really giving into that Ziffindel, maybe a Pinot Noir, um, possibly, maybe, maybe like a 10% cab. It's not all that special. It's not all that original. One of those like standard red blends for me personally. It's all about how you how you blend what you blend, and I think that me not knowing what is in this blend kind of throws me off a little bit but i'm definitely getting ziffindel i don't know who you're trying to play with but it's definitely ziffindel um, i'm not a huge fan of this but i mean i think that there are other red blends that you could find that are affordable that would be a little bit more enjoyable but if you wanted something that would maybe everyone would like all around like you're not trying to you know go too outside the box and scare people with wine this would be fine but if you're around wine drinkers who actually know a little bit about it i don't think this would be the wine for them final reviews on both of these wines i think that for five dollars they're a great start <laughs> sangria does have a beautiful combination of the red wine with the sweeteners with the fruits i do think that it's really nice it does taste homemade so it does taste something like you could have made it which is really nice um would i personally purchase this again um probably not because i could literally make sangria in my kitchen but if you want to skip all the hassle and just have something done would i purchase this maybe for the red blend i think the red blend is a pretty standard red blend i kind of was hoping for a little you know kick or something the maple syrup um flavor kind of stuck with me so that wasn't really my favorite the coffee note though on the other hand which was really nice and that's probably from that ziffindel um varietal that's combinated in i do think that it's pretty standard though for a red blend it's nothing original it's nothing really um 
you know, really special, but would you serve it as a dinner wine where people have different flavors and combinations? Yeah, possibly. It would be a crowd pleaser just because it has a little bit of something for everyone. There's this like hint of sweetness. There's this really nice oak that's also with it. For my personal preference, this is a little bit too standard for me. That is all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for coming and hanging out with me and trying these wines. As we all know, wines can get very expensive. We know, okay? Wines can get hella expensive and there are such great wines that are under $15, under $10. Don't get me wrong, you do not have to spend an arm and a leg to enjoy a nice bottle of wine. Wine is for everyone, wine loves you, I promise. You do not have to go out and spend $130 on a bottle of wine when you can actually go to Walmart, go to Costco, go to Target, and pick out wines that are way more in budget and accessible to people. A great example of that is the Target House wine. I think the California Roots has some great potential because the Sangria was pretty cool. Red Blend wasn't really my style, but there are others that I could choose from, so I'm very interested in trying the rest of the collection. But um, thank you so much for coming and watching me try these. Thank you so much for your support, and I will see you on the next one. Bye.